Ok, hi. Dalam video kali ni saya nak tunjukkan tutorial bagaimana cara nak buat app uh, pedometer uh, berkaitan dengan walking. Contohnya kalau anda pernah dengar pedometer ni, dia biasanya kita letak dekat, dekat device yang mana bila kita jalan, dia akan boleh kirakan step kita berapa. So, kita nak buat apps tu. Macam mana nak buat apps tu, kita tengok dulu tutorial ni. Okay. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a pedometer app that tracks your right. steps and Dekat how far you apps ni, nanti akan ada perkataan. Akan ada perkataan, ada button start, ada button reset. Dekat belah bawah tu akan ada dia punya uh, result dia. Okay, so kita boleh tengok. Kita akan guna MIT App Inventor. Okay, tutorial ni akan tunjukkan mula-mula masukkan label. Kemudian, uh, kita masukkan... Uh, Layout, Horizontal Arrangement Lepas tu masukkan dua button, kiri dengan kanan Ok, lepas tu kita rename button tu, ada start dengan reset Ok, kemudian ada bahagian Table Arrangement Kita ada tarik Table Arrangement Kemudian kita nak masukkan ada enam label Sebab ada banyak bahagian Setiap label eh, label satu sampai label enam Lepas tu kita boleh renamekan dia supaya menjadi macam gini ada time, minute, steps, distance, meter kemudian kita boleh rename juga dekat setiap satu ni supaya jadikan dia kosong dulu pada mulanya ok, kemudian next step adalah kita tarik sensor, pedometer, tarik ke screen nanti dia akan pergi ke bahagian non-visible component ok, satu lagi kita perlu tarik ni, clock ok, kita akan tarik clock sebab dia berkait dengan masa Ok, seterusnya bila dah ada tu kita perlu rename button-button ni supaya mudah waktu kita nak buat uh, block nanti Ok, bila dah siap yang pertama bahagian designer sekarang kita masuk ke bahagian block ini bahagian yang coding yang agak pening sikit so kena follow step by step First sekali kita pergi dekat uh, start dengan stop punya button kita pilih when start stop ni klik apa nak buat Ok, kemudian dia pergi dekat bahagian control. Ok, dekat bahagian control kita pilih ni if then else. Ok, ni yang pertama. Oh. Ok, dia akan matchkan dekat situ ada if then when else. It kemudian kita sure ambil enough, button. Sure enough, there's a start stop text option. Make sure you get the light green one. Next, we're going to go under text, and green, at the top here is just text. empty quotes. Pilih it's empty merah. now, but we can put text inside, and I'm going to make it start. Okay, now, all we have to do to see if it's in start mode is that. So now we have a way to check if our button currently says start. What do we want to do with the user click start? Equals, well, first start. we want to kick start our pedometer. We tell it to start counting steps. Okay. So Next, we're going to have it here. Now, we start. also need to, to find that. Okay, pergi dekat start button, pilih, Here we go. set, and this start, time stop, we're going text to two. change it to say okay, stop. Just like ada. we got the text for start here, we can also get it for stop up here screen, and we want to regularly update the time each time a minute passes. Okay, so and in order to bila part dekat belah sini, bila kita dah tekan start punya button, automatic akan keluar perkataan stop. Okay. Supaya bila next step nanti kita tekan stop, dia akan tukar balik resume ataupun start. Time okay. So to do that, let's look what our options are under clock. Terusnya pergi dekat bahagian clock. Pilih. Scrolling down to the bottom, what we want is set clock one dot timer interval. Set clock one and that defines interval. the amount of time that passes in between them. And then the timer actual math number component. Okay, kemudian pilih bahagian math. Ambil. That is set to 60,000. 60,000 ni sebab dia berkaitan. So we've covered the key. Uh, clock ni dia akan guna millisecond. So kita kena buat 60,000 supaya benda ni jadi dalam nice. bentuk minit. The user wants to start the pedometer. So if we reach start so that the that text component. Kemudian uh, ni next step. And Apa then nak buat? Kita ambil box. button. Kemudian text. Kemudian kita pilih ni lah. Start. start. Then, just okay. as we started the pedometer here, we now want to stop it. And we can go down the, to the pedometer to find that and lagi. get stop. Okay. Alright, so stop. we've set up the pedometer, everything's ready to go, and everything's now being recorded behind the scenes the time. 
Eh, ini so adalah you know, bahagian yang pertama. Puding dia yang pertama. Ada lagi tu ni. Go under clock one, and then the first one here, when timer. clock one dot timer, it just means when the timer goes off, which is going to be once a minute, the new time. Okay, kita pilih when clock one dot timer do what. Okay. So we want to set the label in time. Now we can do that. Label yang it. tadi bahagian time kita tarikkan dia. Nice name instead of label three. Okay, kita pilih. And set we want time. to set its text, which is text. right here. Ooh. We're okay, going to get our time from our pedometer two. because that's one of the things it keeps track of. So if we go down to the pedometer, okay, you can see there's an meter. option for pedometer one Ele that elapsed time. Elapse time. Now, just as our clock accepted time in terms of milliseconds, our pedometer represents 60,000 milliseconds. Okay, so we got bahagian math. We take the bahagian here. And the room in front, bahagi dengan ruangan belakang. So, belakang tu nanti kita boleh bahagi dengan 60,000. 60,000 okay, supaya jawapan kita ni dalam bentuk minit. Goes off. Now, we all those every time steps. One is simple step and one is walk step. Next, pergi dekat bahagian tiga meter. The difference between these is that simple step takes any kind of time it looks ha, ni like. Ni ada beza antara simple step dengan walk step. Simple step ni, dia kira kalau dekat handphone kita tu bergerak naik turun, naik turun. So, dahulah macam berjalan nanti dia akan kira pergerakan. Berbanding walk step, walk step ni dia nak tengok handphone kita bergerak atas bawah dan juga bergerak daripada depan ke belakang ataupun ke kiri ke kanan. So, yang walk step ni dia lebih accurate berbanding simple step. So, Phone kita akan pilih walk step. moving in a pattern that suggests a step that if you're just like our labels. So, let's get the blocks that will let us change those. Okay, to kita akan steps, tarik step. Lepas tu pilih steps.text. Step text. And then, we'll want the same. Pilih benda distance. yang sama juga untuk bahagian distance dan juga uh, time. So, I'll go to distance. distance and get set the text. And we just want to set them to these nice properties that they've already calculated for us. You'll see if we map... Okay, dekat belah sini, walk step, kita pilih yang walk step. Also over one of these, it will have a ready to go um, get box for us. So, I'm going to put that here and then do the same Bahagian distance pun sama, distance. kita perlu... In get distance. Okay, so what we have now will totally work if we only want to run this once. But if we take one walk and then we want to go on another, we want to clear the progress that we in reset. Dot click. Okay, dekat next ni adalah bila ada button reset. So kita pilih button reset. When reset, dot click do apa? Okay, kita call pedometer dot reset. And then we want to set those labels. Kemudian kita bagi bahagian steps. time, uh, step dan juga distance. Kita ambil the text tu. Kita pilih ada tiga benda ni ya. Eh. And distance. Right, dah susunkan semua. And put these all under Dekat here. bawah, video meter, reset. And we just want to set them to zero like we had on the original screen. So I'll go to math. So I'll pergi bahagian math, ambil zero. zero. Okay, yang ini kita boleh copy paste untuk tiga tempat. And that's it. You fill your pedometer. Right, pilih yeah, dah siap. It. Maka kita dah boleh test. Okay, so saya tunjukkan ini adalah interface saya punya apps. Pidometer yang baru buat tadi. Okay, yang belah atas ni adalah punya header ataupun label. Right, jom jalan-jalan sambil kira step. Okay, ini kita boleh tukar font dia. Kita boleh tukar color dia. Kemudian dekat belah bawah ni adalah tambahan. Saya masukkan satu layout. Kemudian kita masukkan horizontal arrangement. Dan kita masukkan image. Okay, image ni kita boleh upload dekat belah tepi ni. Upload file. Okay, ada dekat belah situ. Belah bawah tu kita ada lagi horizontal arrangement ni. Horizontal arrangement. Kemudian kita masukkan dua icon. Dua button. User interface button. So, saya buat mula dan juga reset. Belah bawah lagi tu kita akan ada table arrangement. Yang ini akan ada tiga bahagian. Time minute, step, distance, meter. Okay. Kemudian dah siap yang belah sini kita pergi tengok bahagian block. Okey, dekat belah block ni okey akan ada empat item. Yang pertama when mula a uh, mula underscore priority ni adalah bergantung kepada anda punya setting dekat belah sini. Okey, rename kan button masing-masing dengan uh, info yang tepat supaya nanti bila dekat block kita boleh gunakan info yang sama je. Okay, so boleh pause dulu video ni, tengok dia punya step ni, pastikan sama. Kemudian, bila dah siap, kita boleh project, save project. Kemudian pergi dekat bahagian connect, pilih dekat ni lah, AI companion. 
supaya kita boleh test dengan uh, smartphone kita kemudian kita install apps untuk uh, MIT MIT AI2 companion kemudian kita boleh scan QR code ok, kita klik dekat AI companion akan ada code dia dia boleh scan guna handphone ok, nanti daripada handphone kita ni kita boleh test kita boleh berjalan kita tekan start ataupun kita tekan mula lepas tu kita tengok track adakah betul apps ni berfungsi seperti mana yang dinyatakan ok, semoga video ni membantu anda mencuba buat apps pedometer Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera